lot of times we take these messages and we kind of just plunk them in, just plunk them down in people's minds. Like they make sense to us because we know how we got there. But when you give a kid a message like crawl low under smoke, they have nothing to attach it to in their brain. And I could go in about you know how the brain works and all that because that's I like that kind of stuff. I'm not going to get into that. But what we want to do is get onto one of their super highways in their brain. The more times you travel down a path, the easier it is to access it. And a lot of times our messages are falling into those different areas in their brain where they have no way back to it. So they might receive the message, they might file it somewhere, but they don't have a path to it. So we need to jump on these super highway paths. And the big thing with get low under smoke is the kids are like, huh? Because how do kids view fire and smoke? fireplaces and, and bonfires, right? It's a column of smoke, it's all together, it goes straight up in the air and it goes away. And we have them crawl under sheets to practice. And they're like, huh? That it, it makes sense to us because we know that smoke does this. Even if you tell kids, smoke is like this sheet. They, it doesn't, they have nothing to connect that to, right? So we talk about how smoke and fire is like a bathtub. I actually learned this in my fire or in my arson investigation class. It's an East to Mars, I have to give her credit. Smoke and fire is like a bathtub, right? So the water goes down. Most kids have seen a bathtub. Water goes down, fills up the whole bathtub. Does it make little puddles around the bathtub? No, it fills up the whole bathtub, right? And it starts getting deeper. And at this point, all the kids are picturing this happening in their mind. Well, fire and smoke does the same thing, but upside down. So the smoke goes up, it spreads across the whole room, this is a big bathtub, and it starts filling, it starts getting deeper, except because we're upside down, it's coming down. So the kids can now picture this. If you have pictures like this, where you show that smoke layering, that's even better to enforce that. You can talk about how, um, in this particular picture, that's me in the middle, so I talk about how high you know, I stand and how tall the room is and how all that smoke filled up above me and made a layer, and now I have all this room to work underneath that. Um, they can picture now why they're crawling under smoke, and they can picture why the sheet is a, is a way for them to practice that. And it, now you've attached it to a super highway because they've seen a bathroom before and they know how that works. And really, any time that they get into the bath or see that water run, they're running down that path again and they're remembering your story. So if you can connect to those super highways, that'll help. This also helps with the close the door message because if we can fill up the whole area and we get to doors and it stops and it just comes down, then they know that, well, if your door is open, then it's just gonna keep filling into your room too. It's kind of like an extended bath, bathtub. 